Okay. Okay. Hey guys, it's me. I'm down here. I got a different camera. So this video hopefully will be better. Um, I don't know if I can edit it like I sped through other parts on the last video, but I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. But for now, if this video is long because I'm showing you how to do put my acrylic back on, then videos are good because you can fast forward it. But anyway, let's see how it goes. So here's my hand. I'm trying to make sure it's in the frame. This pinky one fell off today. No big deal because I can just put it back on. That's the good part about knowing how to do your own acrylics. So, I have got my nail already. I'm going to use this. It is a size... Hold on, I'll tell y'all what size it is. Let's see, in the light, it is a size 9, okay? So, nails come like 0, I think there's even double zeros, all the way up to like 10 is what I've seen. And the higher you go, the smaller they get. The higher the number, the smaller they get. So, today I'm going to be using these. These are Elite with Extra overlay and I like to use the ones that have they're not just a tip or my nails are short they go I don't know if you can see it but here we go they go down a little bit extra long they're not just a tip you'll you'll see better when I put it on my nail um, anyway so I have already shaped it with a file and um, I like to shape them a little bit because not everybody's nail is shaped like this so when I I'm going to glue it on and when I glue it on it'll look like this so you can see that there's still a little bit of the nail on mine so I'm going to take my glue here this is the glue that I'm using let's see I hope you guys can see that and it's not upside down but anyway it's called brush on nail glue I got it at Sally's I have different kinds of nail glue I have a favorite one that you can only get at the beauty supply but I accidentally left it open and it went nuts, but I'll get it back. So I apply glue to the bottom of the tip only. And as I'm doing this, I have already prepped my nails, which means I filed them or used a drill. Let me make sure I get this straight, guys. And I kind of got over the shiny part of the nail to make the nail kind of coarse. That gets all the oils off of it, so the acrylic will stick also used a cuticle remover uh, gel from Sally Henson and I pushed back to my cuticles and also tr you know kind of made sure they were all removed you can do this with there's cuticle nippers and and all kinds of stuff I use a drill it's just faster it's easier and I just hold this on for a few seconds and I kind of pinch the sides and then I go back and I will push my skin down because it you don't want to get glue on your skin because it hurts really really bad but here's my drill it wasn't expensive and it works pretty good you know I want another one a better one but whatever this will do for now okay so I'm gonna use that in a minute so here's my nail it's obviously way too long so I need to cut it but I forgot to get out my nail cutters oh here they are they're down here hold on so let me show you what I'm going to do. I got these nail trimmer things and I put my acrylic in there, how the length that I want, and I just cut it off and it usually goes flying. Now, this is obviously way too long, but I'd rather cut it long first and then short. So compare it to the other side, way too long. I'm going to cut some more of it off. Now, make sure that you still keep it a little bit longer than your nail because when you file it it's gonna it's gonna obviously shrink too so let's see um no nope, a little bit shorter and sometimes you may have to do this a few times if you do you just do so just how it goes let's see that's a little bit long but for the video I'll just do it now what I do next is I actually file the part where the nail meets the tip. Let me see if I can show that to you guys right there. Where the nail meets the tip, there's like a little, the acrylic nail that's glued on is a little bit raised, a little bit higher than your actual nail. So I will go in with my drill and kind of just, you know, bring it down a little bit, make it blend better. And you can do this with a nail file. I'm just using 
a drill because it's faster. So let me do that and show you. Turn your drill on. I don't have it on very high. And you just do this. And I just do it a little bit, not much, because you do a, it. You do apply acrylic to it, and you don't want to do it too much, or turn your drill on too high, because it can burn your finger. Okay, now let me get the acrylic. Hold on. I have it. I'm just gonna sit in this chair because, well, it's gonna be easier for me to see the camera and make sure that I'm in focus. Hopefully, I can do this right. Hopefully, y'all can see. My nails do look pretty though. Everybody got mad compliments. I did this accent nail video. Wasn't a good video, but whatever. Okay, so the acrylic liquid I'm using is called No Lift Nails. I got it from Sally's. Anybody can order this or buy this. Um, I'm also going to use the No Lift Clear Acrylic Powder. Now, I have tons of acrylics, tons of powders. Um, this is one that I have that you can only get at the Beauty Supply, and it's by Young Nails. I have different brands, but... I started researching, and I just put my acrylic liquid in like a little glass, little bowl like this. And then my powder, um, I could leave it in this little jar it comes with, but I like to just put it in my own little separate compartment so that it stays clean, or the one that's not used stays clean, and then I just labeled it, you know, what kind of powder it is. Um, before I apply the... Uh, acrylic um you should apply a acrylic primer i don't know where that box went but i had the box to show you guys oh here it is now i just got this out from amazon and it's called um nail primer by no i think it's by no lift nails yeah and i researched and this seems to be the best one to do um you should always this is to help the acrylic stay on better now it has a ew, bad smell but it comes with this little brush you stick it in there and then you take a little bit and you just paint it on the part that is your nail. You don't need to paint it on the false nail, just your real nail. Now let that dry a second and then you're going to do it again. Um, but like I was saying, I got a lot of products of different brands. And my nails were coming off really easily. So I did some research and whatever kind of acrylic liquid that you get, you need to use the same brand of the acrylic powder. I don't know why. I don't see why. But... There is a rhyme and reason to it because when you use the, the No Lift Nails Powder with the No Lift Nails Acrylic, they will stay on longer. Now, if I used my Young Nail Acrylic Liquid, like I just showed you, with the No Lift uh, Nails Acrylic Powder, it still may work and be just fine. But my experience with using two different brands of powder and liquid is that it doesn't last longer your nails come off easier but whatever this is only one way i do my acrylics there's another way that i do them too but i'm just going to show you all this one because it's the most common now after that primer dries just for a second or two add another one let that dry a minute it comes with this little paintbrush thing or whatever so i'm just going to sit it down and put it up while it's drying um, cause I hate the smell of it, but it is really good, but it's not like toxic or anything, but I'm going to put it back. I keep it in its little box. Ta-da! And then while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'll show you all. These are my nail brushes. They are in like a mason jar with old goldfish rocks, and it just keeps the brushes standing straight up or whatever I got. So today, um, I'm going to use, well, I got my acrylic and powder right here. Make sure y'all can see it. There you go. I've got, I'm going to use, I got a new brush and I got it at Sally's and it's awesome. And I don't know what, I think it's like a number 12. They come in different shapes, sizes. Um, it's kind of like a, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of an oval shape. But there's a, there's a crimped, I think it's called crimped, I don't know. But I have a bigger one, and I use it a lot. I got it from Amazon. It's like a number, yeah, it's a number 16. It's really, really big. You can see the difference in, like, how much bristles there are. Um, and then I have another one that is really small. It, it, it was from a beauty supply store that, and I don't even know what it is because I don't, because I've worn it, used it so much. I may use it where I'm doing my pinky nail, but... I think I'll just do this, use this new one because I really like it because the the handle is rubber and like this handle is made of like wood and it is for acrylic nails, 
but if you get acrylic liquid on your um, hands and you touch this, that black stuff gets all over you. It drives me nuts. But anyway, let's get started. First off, I'm going to put my brush into my acrylic liquid since this is the first time that I'm using it today. I'm just going to get it completely saturated with the acrylic liquid like so and then I take my paper towel over here let me scoot this over and then I just kind of and twirl it and I just and that's Addie you here in the background whining for what reason why are you whining Addie I can't find Minnie oh my gosh Minnie Mouse is here somewhere we'll find her let me finish this okay now I do Addie some t nails too and see this is what you do with your brush get it with the acrylic liquid Kind of wipe it down. That gets any product that was left on it from last time off and gets any bubbles out of it. I like to take my finger and kind of make sure it keeps its shape because that's pretty important. Always keep a paper towel out. Um, it's just better to do it that way. Now, let's see if I can do this and still keep it in camera. I may actually move the camera. Maybe not. Let's just see if I can do it, okay? So, give me one second. I'm going to sit down off this chair because it will give me more stability. To do these nails. Addie will find Minnie in a second. Okay. Uh, guys, you know Addie. You know she loves Minnie. Okay. Let's see here. I must be watching. Okay. You can watch. I'm just going to take. This has got acrylic powder in it. It's from Walmart. So, I don't label it because I know it's from Walmart. But, I'm just going <laughs> to lay my finger right here just because it's going to help you guys see better. Um, let me make sure you can see the liquid and the powder in the frame. Well, that stinks. There they, we go. How about that? They can yeah. See it. Okay, now what you do, and I always keep paper towels because you're going to wipe your brush on the paper towel. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get some acrylic liquid on my brush. Let me scoot it over. And then I'm going to kind of just kind of do it like that against the rim. You don't want too much liquid, but you don't want too little. So now that I got my liquid, I'm going to go in here and just lightly tap and make like a little bitty tiny ball like this. And then I'm going to apply it to the main bottom. And I'm Mama? going to pat. Mommy? Yes, Addie? Are you doing nail stickers? No, but I, I, I took that little piece off, guys, because I'm getting some more liquid because it was like a, a piece of dirt got in there. So you just pat it out like this. And you kind of need to watch it. It does dry, but not real fast. So I'm just kind of patting it down towards my cuticles right now. Pat, and then I'm going to like move it upwards as I pat, making sure that if any gets on the side, take your brush and just kind of reform it. It is drying, but that's okay because you could, you're going to put some more on there. But I'm just patting down on the cuticles right now. If you do get some acrylic of the acrylic um, on your cuticles or your skin, you can take your finger or a bamboo stick and just kind of rub it off like that. It's really no big deal. Um, I do clean my brush and okay so after I got a little bit on there I'm going to do the same thing get a little bit more not as much acrylic this time and do the top Mama Addie what? Why are you only doing one thing? Because only one fell off so I'm just going to pat it and like shape it um, right here it's hard to do this with I usually hold my finger in the air but right here I needed some, and so I just make sure I wipe it off my skin, get a little bit more liquid, and then we just kind of shape it, and then you just run your brush like this. Make sure you get it off of the edges, and let me see. It's a little bit too humpy in the middle, but that's okay because I can file it down, so I don't care if there's a little bit of extra product on there because after I file it, after I file it, it's going to look a lot better. Um, and like right here, I can, I've can i got some acrylic on this side. Addie, stop talking. What are you doing? I've got some acrylic on this side where I was, was doing the camera I couldn't see. But it's no big deal. When it's real putty-like, you just do this and you can wipe it off. Hurry up and look. Why? Okay, Addie, stop. So um, now I'm just kind of putting some more liquid on it to help form it better. Yeah, Addie, okay, stop. You want to watch? Now watch. So I'm putting this liquid on it now. I'm going to let that dry a second. While I'm letting it dry, I'm moving that box. It's driving me insane. Addison, 
take your brush and again dip it I'm gonna put this powder out of the way because we don't need any more so dip it again and then just kind of get it real saturated and then go back to your paper towel and the reason I roll it is because that helps keeps its shape but I just like to make sure that it gets all the product off of it okay so now I'm gonna put my brush up Eddie stop kicking me um, I'm just kind of taking a bamboo stick right now and I'm just kind of going around the edges usually I don't have to do this but where I'm not used to uh, doing these from this camera angle it, it's a little bit different but when the acrylic dries I'll be able to file it or I'll actually drill it I'm gonna move this acrylic too uh-oh almost lost the powder but anyway I'll be able to drill it to how I want it um, it's obviously not the sh same shape as the rest of them but basically that's how I apply my acrylic um, after it dries I may post another video of how I drill it but I'm not gonna make you guys stand here and wait for sit here and wait for it to dry so if you have any questions let me know it's really hard to do the pinky finger as the first video that I do but I guess I gotta start somewhere so I will post another video after showing how I drill it okay thanks bye guys